Kalki had written, which were fictional, and uh, I think the way he had blended the two was fascinating, and that is what we tried to capture in the movie. Hi, oh, yeah. hi, here. Hi, I am Prince C from the Beagle Bazaar. A uh, big thanks for creating this cinematic spectacle. It's it looks very good, and I'm sure the authenticity will lead the generation to know a lot more about it. My question is for Rahman sir. So the music that you make tends to defy that era. This is an era that you had to revisit with your music. What is your understanding from the music? Because it's it's called musical also. So your understanding of that era. Yeah. Um, yeah, we started this like ten years back. Okay. So I did like twelve to thirteen films in Karnataka. Just was trying to make use of the opportunity, and then he didn't react much to that. Then it it's restarted. When it restarted, then he said, uh, "Give me some more tunes." So I started again. Again, it didn't happen. He didn't respond to that. Then he said, "Let me take me to Bali because Bali had influence of the Chola Empire." You know, okay. so we just hanging out there. We went to the temples. We went. We heard the, you know, the monkey chants, and um, so that inspired a lot because somewhere I think there was a pure trace of something which is preserved. In the eyes of people, the way they see, you know, nature and people and all that stuff, that inspired me a lot. And so I gave him like around thirteen, fourteen, twenty ideas. He didn't respond to it for a month. He said, "Okay, I'm done." <laughs> Then he came back and said, "Can we do this as this song?" And this song, this song. so that's how um, all the songs he wrote. And then he wanted a melody. And then again, I gave him like eleven ideas. And he spotted. Again, he takes it, and and then whatever comes back in the night for him, or he recalls that he's got a very very organic way of judging. He doesn't ah, that's hit you. He's not that way. So he just sees what inspires him organically. So the process was beautiful. I loved it. And then again, scoring. Um, I had done a score, six minute, you know, money at the end, chase, market chase. I was so proud of it. I nailed it. I was thinking. And then he said, uh, "You did something three months back. Can you just replace this with that?" <laughs> so I orchestrated for forty instruments, and we were about to record, and all this stuff happened. So his instincts are very correct. I believe in it. I believe all of us believed in it for thirty years, and he's a great guide on it. At the same time, um, I told him in the beginning, "I'm going to go wild, so you can set boundaries for me where not to cross what." And so. A couple of weeks back, we went back to the score, added a lot of traditional instruments, and you know, sweetened a lot of parts. Where so the process was beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Hello. Hi. Hi. 